Oh my. Two faces of the same serpent. One in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he who sees both sides of the snake. What the heck is going on? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to an episode of Fahrenheit. Um, I know I missed the episode on Sunday, and this is just to make up for it. I had a lot of technical problems, lost the episode like three million bajillion times. So, um, we finally got it to work, and we are going to see what we can do here. Um, we left off, um, Lucas. As Lucas, we saw our brother, the priest, and we all confessed all this stuff that's happened during the murder. And then, um... We played Carla and found some clues that I can't remember. And now, as um, what's his face, um, this guy I can't remember. Um, we are going to go down to the crime lab and see some stuff that came back. And I think we might interview the waitress that was at the restaurant, if you remember from a couple episodes ago. So we're just gonna chill. We're gonna try and get ourselves situated and try and find the crime lab. I think. Okay, we're gonna log onto the computer, see what's new. I don't know where the heck Carla is. Okay, mail. Pleasure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we have seen the wonders of internet spam. And we've seen. Millions already infected, install the attached file to prevent the infection of your system. Okay, that's schmuck bait. I'm sorry. Tyler, that's his name. I'm sorry I hassled you with my worries this morning. It was stupid of me. I'm so terrified that something might happen to you that I sometimes forget how important your work is to you. I hope that one day I'll be able to convince you to change your life. I love you, Sam. Okay, so why did she send an email? You know, wasn't this the error that texting got big? Okay, let's see. Web. I sent this for 200 peer-to-peer -peer pirates. Cold Wave makes new victims. China preoccupied by a situation in Pakistan. Okay, nothing detrimental. Okay, let's see. Nope. Okay, we have nothing to enter into the computer. We gotta leave. We gotta find this. Um, hmm. Should we go to Carlos' computer? No, we can't go to Carlos' computer. We have to find wherever Carla is. Oh, there's Carla. There's Carla. Yeah, I remember filming this once and I couldn't even find where to go. Okay. So, what do you want to start with? Okay, the knife. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim, it was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. Frank found a book on one of the tables in the diner. It was Shakespeare. Uh, the Tempest, I think. Did you check for prints? Yep, and they matched the ones on the fork and the glass, so it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Hey, why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Uh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. Interesting. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. Okay, are we gonna play Carla? To the oh, we have three of them. Okay, where should we go? The bank is Lucas. 
car line the mortuary. Ooh, what should we do, guys? You know, we're gonna go to the mortuary. We're gonna play Carla. Ugh. We did a number on him. Poor fool. Shouldn't have taken that long to wash his hands. currently stand there waiting for an explanation. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. Oh, I think he seems to be impressed by that. No apparent hematoma on the body. Oh, okay. Get ready. Two broken fingernails on the right Oh. Ah. Large. Okay. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. Okay, good. Good, good. We're supposed to do it this time. He cracked his head when he fell. Oh, we missed that first Abnormal clip. dilation in, um, both pupils. Okay, I think we did it. No, we didn't do it! Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Ah, this is stressful. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. The stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. Ah, oh, that was stressful. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. Oh, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Interesting. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? It's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. I'm asking the right questions. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. <laughs> that was not the right question. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet, but I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Oh, it's that, that was a confidential document. Okay, we're gonna go as Lucas to the bank. Ugh, those sequences, they, they really don't prepare you enough for those. I don't even know what the heck to do, whether to go, um, at the same time, what at, whatever the heck. <coughs> oh no, 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 we're gonna murder someone else in the bathroom. We're gonna murder someone else in another bathroom, aren't we? <coughs> well, he's vomiting, whoever he is. I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Okay. I hope you don't murder somebody else in the bathroom. Okay, let's wash your hands. Let's be a clean little murderer. Okay, I, that's not what I had in mind. But sure, if your head is dirty, probably had vomit splashed up in your face the way you were hunched over that toilet. Okay, dry them. I hate those hand dryers. They never work properly. Stick to paper towels. But, like, when you go to an eco-friendly place, there's no paper towels. So you're left with wet hands. You're always left with wet hands. Oh, wait, are we going to be possessed to rob this bank? I just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. 
I think we've... Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. Oh, he works at the bank. Okay. And I don't know why we're lagging so much. Oh. Don't raise any suspicions. Walk like a good little corporate weasel. Or minion. I don't know why he would want to go to work. Wait, are we supposed to go there? Yes, let's go... Leave. And... Okay. That is some high-tech stuff. What's wrong? Problem on the change my clothes. Oh, okay. We have to get ready again. Oh, oh fuck. dang it! We screwed up. Well, let's see what's in their drawers. Okay, we got more lives. I don't know what those lives mean. No, wrong one. Wrong one. see the picture. Is that a girlfriend, wife? Tiffany and I. About two years ago, I oh, guess. Oh, that's, that's the other... I haven't been able to throw it away yet. That's the X. That's the X. Okay. Okay, let's work. Working on my ears. Do, do, do. This is very mundane. <laughs> oh, great. Why is the screen flashing, murderer? Wait, no, that was a... Lucas? You okay? Yeah. He's hallucinating. Yeah, I'm fine. Can we work more at the computer? Okay, get that phone call. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Should she come over tonight? Yeah. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I'm a murderer, Tiffany. I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Wow, that was an abrupt way to end it. Okay, get ready. Look out, the cop! Interesting. Lucas, is there a problem? No, I, I, I just thought... It seemed so real. I saw that coffee cup fall. Wow, and he just leaves it there. Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. What a pig. What a pig. He just leaves it there. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. Wipe, wipe it up. Wipe it up. You're going to have a sticky desk. It happened. Just like I'd seen it. Like the cop in the apartment. Is it possible that I can really see things before they happen? Yes, it is, apparently. But, jeez, you need to tell your co-worker to have better desk hygiene. I'm leaving the coffee there. Okay, station 62. Oh, no, don't run. Don't run. Suspicious. I don't know why we're lagging so much in the office cubicles itself. But we're just gonna walk. We're gonna see what La Problema is. And we're gonna like working on it. Not in Paris, New York, Tokyo. Oh, let's go flag muffins. Okay, are we gonna have a get ready here? No, okay, we're not gonna have a get ready. I, I don't need. I, I know that has to do with the plot, but it's so weird. Why? Why can't we walk right? Okay, okay. Let's see what's wrong. Oh. Okay. 
interesting. But they're not real. We're gonna have a panic attack. Oh dear. Got this. Move. Move. Oh. Okay. Okay, we are really bad at this. Oh no, we died. Awesome. Okay, great, great. No, this can't be real. This really can't be real! Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, dang it. This is very confusing to deal with, with the way I set up the two sticks. Oh. Oh gosh, no. we're being strangled. Ah! We're gonna draw suspicion to ourselves. I don't know what the heck is happening. What is this? I'm so confused. Ah, dagnabbit. Dagnabbit. I don't know what this is. This can't be real. Oh my gosh, this is difficult. This is really difficult, guys. I don't know what the heck is going on. What is going on?! I don't, okay, fire extinguisher, good. Fire extinguisher, good, good. Get them at bay. Okay, jump over, and I'll slide under. Oh my god, great timing. That was some really good timing. For it to pop up like that, I gotta pop up. Ugh. Okay, we're lagging. Okay, jump over. What is this? What in Sam heck is this? Is he dreaming? I'm trying to rationalize this. Oh, okay, that is very, very weird. <laughs> Weirdly fast stuff. It's the boss. Oh my. Two faces of the same serpent. One in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he who sees both sides of the snake. What the heck? Is going on. No! Lucas, Lucas, what happened? Ah! Did you hear me? Are you all right? You brought suspicion. Hey, yourself. you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. Neither do I. But one thing I do know. Those things almost killed me. What in Sam heck was that? I guess we're gonna be Tyler now. Come in. H hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Uh, please, take a seat. Now, we're going to try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't matter. But, You're going to do fine. But if I told you you the are in one. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, is this gonna... Oh, use the character control keys to change the face component. Press enter to validate your choice. Press backspace to choose a random face. Was it him? Now, is this the face of the person you saw? No. No, that's not quite him. No problem. We'll try again. Now, concentrate. Wait, what? Wait, we get a control Kate? 
should we should we do a red herring? Oh no no, it's more like this. We're we're gonna do this right. Oh, those are the eyes. Okay, let's get this hair out of the way. And he has no facial hair. Yeah, it's definitely that. I think it's this one. No, I don't think he has a cleft. Yeah, that one. I just can't get the lips right. I'm gonna say that one. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yeah, that one. Yes. At least, th that's how Not I at all him. similar. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help. <laughs> We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video game. Oh, we failed on that one. They're gonna they're gonna arrest some guy. I, I know it. But it looks similar to me. Why is it always 904? Okay, question. Question. I felt empty. After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Okay. Well, we screwed up on the composite sketch. We had really weird dreams walking to the desk. And, um, we somehow have psychic abilities. And I don't know what at all that means and what the heck is happening in this. This is the most cerebral thing ever. But anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna resume this on Sunday. Um, tomorrow, we are going to do some more Tomb Raider. And, um... And that's going to be fun. And um, until then, this is Benjamin signing off.